So I'm currently in Bangkok, Thailand, doing some condo searching. I wanted to bring you guys along with me. So now that I've been in Thailand for like over like one, a year and a half almost, um, I spent most of my time in Pattaya. I've moved around a little bit. When I first moved here to Thailand, I came to Bangkok. I lived here for one month. And I wasn't really a fan of the big city vibe because I had never lived in the city. Um, did I like it? Of course. But it wasn't what I was looking for at that moment in time. But now after being here, I'm falling more in love with the city of Bangkok and I want to explore it. So I'm going to be packing my bags from Pattaya and moving here to Bangkok. So I wanted to, just, I wanted to bring you guys along with me on this condo shirts. So today we're going to be checking out two condos here in Bangkok, Thailand. One coming in at 12K a month and another one coming in at 16K a month. So let's go ahead and head over there now before I'm late. Let's go. So what do you cup? For Isaiah? Isaiah? Oh, okay, right? All right, guys, so the first condo we're headed to is called Life Succumbit 62. From the photos I've seen, the condo looks pretty nice, so hopefully it's just as impressive in person. All right, guys, so we just arrived at the very first condo, Life Succumbit 62, located very close to the Bang Chok. Hopefully I'm saying that right, BTS. So it's literally in walking distance. And that's a big thing we're looking for a condo in Bangkok is you want to live in an area that's convenient and BTS accessible because that way you don't you can avoid you know having to uh, deal with traffic pretty much and motorbikes and taxis and just get you a BTS card and ride that line and get to most and get to the most desirable areas uh, in Bangkok. So that is already a win. But now let me go ahead and find the real the realtor so I can check out the room. Okay. All right, guys, here is the room. All right, so I got the closed off kitchen, microwave, full size fridge for Thailand, cabinet space, little balcony here. Not much space to do anything out here, but otherwise, it's still a balcony. I believe it's probably a washer. Let's see. Yep, washing machine covered up. Let's take a step outside. Little chill area. And then this is the living room. The bedroom. Okay, little closet space. Not bad. This is uh, 30 square meters? Yes, correct. Okay. Here's the bathroom. Shower. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, take a look at the amenities now. So really dope pool. This is, uh, this is dope. So nice views from up here. We have this nice infinity pool and you can see nice view of the city. So this is a cool, Spot and then Sky Lounge. Okay, there's a Sky Lounge here, so it's sort of a co working space. People are working, so I won't go inside and talk, but you guys can see through here. Another area to work. I think that's one of the cool things about condos here in uh, Bangkok is the different options they offer as far as like lounges and all the different things they build into the condos, making it, you know a fun place to be outside of your room. So that's cool. Okay. All right, guys, here's the gym here. Wow, this is a nice gym. So a lot of uh, cardio equipment. Once again, nice views, locker, water machine, TV, and a rock climbing wall. That's, <laughs> that's unique. Bench press, cool machines, free weights. Nice, very nice gym. Very nice. And then here is a sky garden, which a lot of condos in Bangkok seem to have these sky gardens. Nice, so yeah, I mean, that's a cool area. Shaded, come outside, just work. And this furniture looks new, it still has plastic on it. Nice. So I'm loving the areas where you can come chill. That's a perk. So the room, 
is 12K. So this room, guys, is 12K per month. The facilities I'm, I'm liking, the room itself is a little bit small for my taste, but the facilities might could win me over. But we do have other rooms to look at, so we can't make a decision yet. But 12K, the price is not much at all. I want to say it's like $340 a month. Um, but yeah, the room, it's a little bit tiny, but we'll see. We'll see. So there is a little 7 Eleven vending machine. One more area to see here. Very nice. So another area you can come lounge at in here as well. So a lot of co-working spaces and you can, here you can book that one. Not sure what's up here. Another light lounge area, pretty cool. Very nice. And then here's like a convenience store right in the building. Oh, I think it's locked. Maybe it's closed right now. <laughs> All right, take a look inside. Cool, so a nice convenience store, not a 7-Eleven, but get your snacks and necessities right here at the building, so that's cool. And I'm sure there's probably a 7-Eleven somewhere in walking distance. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so after viewing this place, I will say the, some of the perks are the price, 12K, one bedroom, Bangkok, convenient location, that's a steal. 12K is like 300. Like I said, I'll put the conversion on the screen, but 12K, very, very reasonable price, especially when you consider the amenities you get here. Now, I'm kind of thinking, should I be too picky? Because I do, I'm still keeping my Pattaya condo. I'm not getting rid of that. So I'll kind of live between Bangkok and both Pattaya. 12K is a great price per month, and I love the facilities and everything offered. Nice gym, very nice pool, a lot of nice lounge areas. So I shouldn't be too caught up in the room. Obviously, we'd need things like a new couch and stuff like that. Room is a bit small, 30 square meters, but at the same time, I don't need to be huge. So, now there's a couple other people looking at this room, and I think, honestly, it probably will get taken before I can take it, but I just can't say yes now because there is a duplex style room we're getting ready to look at now at another place that looks ideal called uh, IDEO New Rama 9, and we're gonna head there right now, and that's two stories, and that one is, I think, about 35 to 37 square meters, and uh, from what I've seen online, it looks like a nice option as well, so we're gonna check out that right now. We're gonna go check there. Like I said, the price is 4,000 baht more, but if I like the room, it's gonna be worth that price difference. But if not, I think at 12K, I gotta swipe this place up. I gotta take it, because this is a good deal. It's a good pr price, and I like the location. So, let's go ahead and head to this next price. I hate that I have to look at this next one. Like, I'm not, like I said, I'm not in love with the room, but the building, I do love the building. I'm not gonna lie. I, I could definitely see myself living here. And 12K, ugh. All right, guys, I'm not gonna, I can't say decision, but I, I just feel like when I, my, my brain is gonna wanna say yes later, and they're going to be like, oh, sorry, the last appointment took it. Ay. All right, guys. Here we go. The next place is about 15 minutes away. I'm just waiting on my boat right now to come pick me up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to head there. And if this is the winner, we'll take this one. We shall see. All right, guys. So I just arrived at the next condo project we're going to check out, which is IDEO New Rama 9. This one is not located by BTS, but that's okay because... By motorbike, it's not far from the main areas I want to be in, like Ekamai. I think it's about a 10-minute motorbike ride away. So let's check this out and see if this is a viable option for us. As I mentioned, this property is going to come in at 16k per month. Maybe I can negotiate them down to 15. Um, but let's check out the facility, check out the room, and see if it's worth here. Or should we go to the 12k room? Or should we keep looking? We'll have to see, guys. It's going to be a hard decision, but I do want to go ahead and secure a, a condo here uh, in Bangkok very soon. So I don't want to look around too much because. The longer I look around, the more I'm going to overthink it because there are so many exciting condo projects here in Bangkok that offer so many amazing amenities for its residents. So let's go ahead and see what this room is talking about, guys. Let's go. Okay, guys, so here's the lobby. So kind of a co-working space vibe right here in the lobby. You can work on your laptop and, you know, a lot of chilling area. We're just waiting on the realtor to come down and come pick, pick me up for the room. So I actually just reread the listing. So this is not close to a BTS, but it's actually close to an MRT, which is the underground. And I kind of forget about those. I've only taken it a couple of times. So yeah, there's no sky train over here, but there is an underground somewhere close by. I'm not sure exactly, but I can easily find it on the maps. So this area still is a win for convenience because MRT. So they have a printer in the lobby. That's convenient. And then here is the outside. Awesome. Okay. This is the pool. Okay. And the uh, picnic over there. Oh, okay. And is this the only pool or is it more than one pool? Yes. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, here's the pool at this building. And then the fitness center over here. My friend gave me to promote in my face. Oh, okay. Oh, All right. They have room around it, Ramanai. Oh, okay. An expert over there. Here is the fitness guys. Let's take a look inside of here. So a decent sized fitness room, treadmills, another area to relax. And then here is some weights over here. So decent gym, bench press and squat machine. Okay. And okay, library over here. So there's a meeting room over there. And library. Okay. So, another area to come be outside of the room and relax. Co working space. Pretty nice. Okay. Here is the other room. All right, guys. So, here is the next room. Have high ceilings. Couch, and I'm thinking this is like a futon. Dining area, nice. Balcony, let's take a step outside. Not a big balcony, but you can still see the city. And then here is the bed upstairs. So enough space to fit like a desk up here. You could put like a desk maybe like right here or there. Okay, plugs, wall, air con. Oh, okay. Nice. And then here's the view from down here. Okay. 35 square meters. Nice. Three people interested. <laughs> nice TV. Because I, I never have this, this apartment before. Uh -huh. I, I searched the internet. I just saw the guy saying, oh my god, my friend. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> Let me call my list. <laughs> but it's okay. Here's the bathroom. Decent space. Sliding door shower. And then kitchen area. Microwave. Full size fridge. It's uh -huh. good. Okay, have cabinet space. More cabinet space over here. Okay. All right, guys. So this room, I'm liking it. I'm definitely liking this room. Ah, tough decisions. 16K is very good price for this room. And 35 square meters. I like the layout. Guys, it's gonna be a hard decision. <laughs> All right, guys, so all this uh, apartment searching has made me hungry, so we're going to grab a burger right here on Second Bit 11 at a place called Bang Bang Burgers. I've never had it, but let's go place the order, and let's discuss our options so far. And by the way, another third option just came through that we're going to check out tomorrow, so you guys stay tuned. Don't end the video yet. Don't leave yet. I got one more condo to show you guys. All right, all right guys, take a look at this menu. The desserts is tempting me. We got some milkshake options going on here. And then the burgers look pretty freaking good, not gonna lie. Chicken sandwiches. The Raging Bull's catching my attention. These wraps look good too, though. All right, here's the wraps. I think we get one wrap and one burger. <laughs> so by the way, guys, I'm super excited. I'm just super excited about moving to Bangkok. Um, something new just to switch it up because after living in Pattaya for a while, the city's gotten kind of small to me and I just need to switch it up. 
And so I'm excited to, to explore Bangkok because there's so much to explore here, um, new friends here. And I just want to say it's also, it's, a, it's so dope meeting you guys in real life. All the time when I'm out, I'm meeting people who, you know, are subscribed and watch my channel and enjoy my videos. So I appreciate you guys. Like uh, a couple weekends ago, I was out here in Bangkok. I went to Sugar Club with one of my friends. As we're walking through the club, these two guys are like, hey, you're a dude from YouTube. Like, yo, we love your videos. Watch it. They had bottles. They invited us to drink with them. Great time. So if you guys ever see me in public, man, just speak. I love, I love meeting people. Um, and I just want to say, like, after living in Thailand for over a year, like, my love for Thailand and my love for this country has really grown more. I just never knew what to expect after just literally moving here without having done any research, just bought a one-way ticket, uplift, uprooted my life, and came to somewhere I had no uh, familiarity with, never visited, nothing like that. And man, it's just been, it's been amazing. So what I want to say with that is be willing to take risks. You never know what's on the other side of that. Never seen myself living in Thailand, uh, Southeast Asia just in general, and here I am. And um, not only am I living here, but I've inspired other people to make a similar move. So that has been, uh, it's just been wonderful. It's amazing. And every day I'm just so blessed that I get to wake up, be in Thailand, do what I want, come, you know, eat delicious food, meet amazing people. It cannot get much better than this. I just want to remind you guys, you know, as you're existing, don't forget to live. Don't forget to actually enjoy life. So many of us are caught up in work and the grind and this rat race that we forget to pause and actually appreciate life. We're living for vacations and, you know, and weekends. And I don't think that's how it should be because that's such a small portion of your life. You have to create a life and structure for your life that you enjoy not just the Fridays and Saturdays, but you enjoy the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because at the end of the day, the days of the week are just, they're just titles, right? And so one of my sayings as I've lived in Thailand now has been, what day is it anyway? Because I never really know unless I specifically have something to do or check my phone. A lot of times I will be clueless what day it is. Every day can be a Friday here in my opinion. It doesn't mean I'm partying every day, but it just means that every day I wake up and every day is just a blessing, it's a gift, so. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys who are moving out here, who are also making this move and yeah, so. I think my next plan, I got some other stuff, I'm not going to say, yeah, I, wanna, I don't, I don't want to jump the gun on some of the plans I have, but um, one of the things I do want to do for you guys who are actually not just watching the videos, but you're actually living here in Thailand and planning on moving here, I want to start a community, you know, like I want, I want to connect with more of you guys, I want, would like to host, you know, events and outings here in Bangkok or wherever, and so if you guys are interested in something like that, leave me a comment, let me know below that you would be interested in some form of community out here. Regardless of age, whether you're you know young, older, whatever, I think that would be dope to do. But I'm ready for this food to come out. Um, I'm really hungry. It's my first meal of the day, and like I said, I'm excited to see this last option tomorrow because the two options so far we have today is option number one. I like the location, it's convenient. Walking distance to BTS, that's a winner. Price point, a winner. The amenities in the building, winner. Downside, the room wasn't the biggest fan of the room obviously would need like new furniture in the living room and whatnot so that's the downside but the amenities could almost win me over honestly now the second room the advantages I, I do like I, li I love the room like the way of the duplex style the space um, the amenities are okay it co-working space and it's decent but like I wish for Bangkok you know when you're living in uh, like high-rise buildings I prefer like if you have like the rooftop access and a view and things like that. So that's something that Rama doesn't have. Everything is on the ground, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, it's MRT accessible, so that's cool. Not the most ideal area, but it's okay. Price point at 16K for that room, I think is very reasonable. If I could take that room at 16K, put it inside of life, it would be an easy done deal. Would have been cool with it and sign the lease so yeah that's where we're at right now is space wise i want the second room because if i have like a friend over that comes into town i could easily turn that sofa into like a, it's a futon so i can lay it out a bed and they have enough room to sleep comfortably the other room i can't have any company over like unless it's company that's sleeping in my room with me <laughs> so um but there's a lot more other places to be outside of the room in the first building so tomorrow, 
there's another option. It's coming in at 12K, duplex style. A little bit on the smaller side of room, but the layout might be able to help offset the size. And the amenities look nice. So um, it's gonna be interesting to see how this room tomorrow plans out. Hopefully they respond, because they responded today, but then like they've been a little bit slow responding. So hopefully tomorrow we can see that room. And if that room, if, I, if, it, if everything works out, I probably will go with that one because it will marry the best of both worlds. So fingers crossed, guys, we'll see. All right, guys, the burger is here. There we go. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a terrible angle. Let's take it out the wrapper. Ooh. Some burger action and fries. All right, guys, let's take a bite. Mm. That's a pretty decent burger. We got cheese, bacon, lettuce, some special sauce. I don't know. All right, little update, guys. So the downsides of condo shopping, right, is you go to evaluate multiple options, but by the time you make a decision, even if it's the same day, the room is already gone. So after seeing the first option, which I told you guys, the amenities will win me over. Only thing I didn't like was the room was horribly decorated. Like the furniture, everything is awful. So I was like, you know what? If I get the room, I'll just redecorate it. Everything in there can go. I'll put in my own furniture. The second place, uh, I liked the room. Wasn't the biggest fan of like the overall complex compared to the first one and location and convenience. So after juggling things around and then the third option fell through because that one got booked but also it was a little bit out the way anyway from where I wanted to be. So the third option which you guys never even got to see because it just got eliminated. I chose the first option and I messaged the real time like all right I'll take it. I don't hear it back for a little bit and then he messaged me back it's booked now. So guys I don't even know what we're going to do now. I My mind was already like seeing myself redecorating the room and living there because I really like the amenities. I like the facilities. Apparently there's also a sauna and, and um, there's a sauna, a jacuzzi and a steam room there, which I didn't even see in the video. So just overall living, I felt like that place was a good place to be. But now that one is, yeah, that one's not an option anymore. So very, very frustrating because like when I messaged an hour ago, it was available. And then like now all of a sudden it's not. And I, when I messaged him, I was like, I'll take it. Like, you know, like, so just give me the steps. I can send you money right now. But yeah, so that's where we're at now. Got to keep searching. Maybe another one, will, another room will pop available there. Um, obviously 12K was a steal, but I just wanted to evaluate other options first. So yeah, I will update you guys when we find another option. All right, folks, so this is now day two of the condo search. The search continues because, let me tell you guys, finding a condo in Bangkok is a lot harder than I thought it would be. What I mean by that is finding condos isn't actually hard, but the act of getting one that you like before someone else gets it, that's the hard part. So what I've learned so far is that if you even kind of like a condo, you might want to cuff it then. I said cuff it like I'm talking about a girl. You might want to cop it then and go ahead and secure it, lock it in, because chances are if you try to think about it and evaluate too many options, that condo is gonna get gone. That's the lesson I have learned so far because I wanted to go ahead and secure the condo at life, but it got taken before I could. So then the origin condo, which you guys didn't even see, that one got taken, so that wasn't even, didn't even make, that didn't even make it to the video. Then, um, now we're considering a third option. So we're getting ready to go check out a place called the Line Suckum Bit 101, and hopefully, this will be a winner. We can go ahead and lock it up, it's 15K. The room is a little bit smaller than the other ones at 28 square meters, but hopefully the layout can offset the small, the smallness of the room. So let's go ahead and head there now and see what it's like. Here we are at the Line Succumvit 101, located not far from the BTS stop Punawiti. Hopefully I said it correctly. At this point, I did forget to turn my mics on, so this is why I'm doing a voiceover, but let's go ahead and check out the room. So first things first, the cool thing about security here is the elevator is face scan, and here is the room. 28 square meters, obviously not a large room, but still not that bad, I'm not gonna complain. It's a little bit smaller than the other options, but it is still a nice room. Full-size fridge, as you guys can see. 
and uh, a little bit of cabinet space beside there. You can put some shoes and it has a mirror, have this nice countertop so you can enjoy your food there as well. Decent sized television, small kitchen, but I do like the design. And then nice little couch, enough to fit two people. This pulls out so you can extend your legs, making it more comfortable to relax there. So I do like that. Good feature to have, nice and comfortable. Then we have this balcony with the washing machine on the balcony. And this room is about 18 floors up, I believe. So nice view, very, up very high. And from here, you can see a lot of the city. Next up, we'll take a look at the bedroom. So coming inside of here, you guys can see they have this little build in here that has uh, built-in stores. The bed is on a platform. I do like this built-in kind of desk area that's perfect for you know, say if I want to set up some monitors and my laptop and just work from there, right in the room. Very convenient. I do love the large windows as well. And there's more storage built inside of this. So even though it takes up a lot of space in the room, uh, they kind of give you some space back through the built-in storage. So that's a nice feature to have. And then you have a lot of cabinet space in here and the full-size mirror is also a great feature. So you can put some shirts, shoes, nice bathroom here i think the bathroom is actually a decent size for such a small room at 28 square meters but the shower is pretty nice and then here's some more perspective of the room from the bathroom angle and there's the perspective of the living room so it comes with a about a 50 inch tv i believe if not 50 inch it's a little bit slightly less than that maybe like 45 46 inch um, the only thing i would add here is probably a coffee table and a nice rug to give the room a nice cozy feel and as I mentioned the kitchen's not that big but I plan I don't plan on doing that much cooking if I take this room but overall I must say I'm pretty pleased with the room um, even though like the bedroom it seems a bit small because of all this uh, structure they put in here with the uh, closet and this platform but I do think it still works so it's a good feel and the large windows uh, give it bring in a lot of natural light so I do appreciate that and then the, the platform does give you back storage so you see they have these sliding drawers built in as well so um, plenty of storage in the room even though it's not a large room so overall I think I think I may take this room I think I might consider it I'm not I'm not disappointed you know I thought by losing size that I, I wouldn't really be interested but I do like the room and then this closet this tool brings it down so you can hang up your shirts and reach those higher areas now don't ask me about the part above that because ab above that section, I have no idea how you would reach that unless you're Shaquille O'Neal's height. So yeah, that seems like <laughs> a bit useless for it to be that high because um, you would need like a ladder just to access it. And right in front of this room has the garbage room. So that's very convenient. I could literally just open the door and throw my trash away. That's the cool thing about luxury apartments in Thailand. Every floor has a garbage room so you don't have to go all the way outside. Here's the next room being shown here. It is on the same floor. It is also 28 square meters. Um, the only difference is the price is 18K versus 15K. And uh, there's also a little bit different of a design in the main bedroom, as you guys will see. So as you guys can see, they lifted the beds. They put the bed kind of, you know, uh, in the sky, <laughs> if we can say. So in the ceiling. So they made it kind of a, a, a loft style uh, bed. So you can go up these funky little stairs. Not sure how that would work out um, going up there drunk at night or something <laughs> it seems a bit dangerous and then also i wasn't really a fan of the ceiling height once you're sleeping up here because it just seems a little bit um inconvenient um it's not really much space to do stuff if you guys know what i mean <laughs> i'm just joking anyway as we come down um I, I do like the concept in a sense to where they opened up the floor so now you can have a desk area in the room while your bed is you know kind of in the ceiling so it does offer you some more space back um not for everyone um, person not for me but I, I do like the concept then you have this built-in closet decent sized space in there as well so overall I mean the room is uh you know it's a, it's a decent room is it worth paying three thousand bought more no I would definitely take the last room over this one but maybe one of you guys to this video would be interested if it's still available by the time I post this video so other than the bedroom everything else is the same so same shower same bathroom as you guys seen in the last room so this was just cool to see another room. Now we're going to be shown a third option, but this next option we get, we'll see after we see the amenities is a 35 square uh, meter room. So um, that will be interesting as well. And that one is also 18K. So I would definitely take a bigger room at 18K. All right, guys. So next, we're going to view the amenities here. At the line. 
So this is the outside, this is the rooftop area. This is pretty cool. So rock climbing again, second time seeing rock climbing. And almost like a little track you can walk around. So it's a jogging track. You can just literally come up here and jog and look at the view from up here. Wow, so we are truly high up. I mean, this is, I think this view might sell me guys. I think I'm sold on this place. Look at the views. You can see like all the city from up here. Then you have this cool rock climbing, which I'm sure maybe someone operates it. I used to be decent at rock climbing back in the day. Probably not so much anymore. Little fitness area up here. So what do you got? So they got fitness, like come out here and just, guys, <clears throat> this view is selling me. Just being all the way up here. This is super cool. 38 floors high. The fitness built up, fitness area built in up here. Jogging track. This is pretty cool. And guys, I forgot to put my microphone on initially. So I'm, there's a lot that uh, I had to edit over. It's not done yet. There's more to see up here on the rooftop. It's a whole other area we're getting ready to look at. That's pretty cool. Guys, this is the next common area out here. So let's see what we got. <laughs> oh wow, you have these little spinny thingies <laughs> in this open field. This is really cool. All right guys, I gotta check this out. See if my camera will hold. All right, how do we use this thing? I don't know how to do this. Maybe we sit inside. <laughs> All right, well. Trying these things out didn't really work out too well. And then here's another area. But, oh no, the basketball goal is literally gone. That's disappointing. They have a basketball goal here, but it's broken. And they got like a little stand. I would love to come out here and shoot hoops. So I'm gonna ask if they plan on fixing this basketball goal. That would be so cool. Why don't they fix that? So I'm gonna ask. That's pretty cool. I mean, this rooftop area is dope. Yeah, I wanna come out here and shoot hoops though, so I'm gonna see if they can fix that. All right guys, so this is the fifth floor common area, which there seems to be quite a bit out here. So fifth floor, there is a game room right here, which I think we, oh, slide this open. Cool. So you can come out here, play air hockey, foosball. They got the arcade machine, TV, just a lounge area. So, you know, I like about condos here in Bangkok. A lot of them, they put a lot of effort into amenities. And you know, this is cool. You could literally just have a date night at your condo without leaving the house, order some food in and call it a day. So it has a jacuzzi, infinity edge pool. Here is the gym right here. We'll check out in a second, but this is nice. Um, I wish they would have put it higher up. But hey, I'm not complaining because this is actually still nice. <clears throat> a lot of sitting area. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's also a kitchen on the inside of here that can be used. So in a second, we'll check that out. More just common outside area, though, if you want to hang out, pool. So this is pretty cool. I love the, you know, rooftop common areas. That's a big selling factor for me. So they also have a community garden right here. So a lot of condos actually have this. So they're, they're garden. I don't, now I don't know what happens to the stuff that grows here, but community garden, got the camera. So they're watching you wherever you go. <laughs> and um, yeah, so next, I think we can check out the um, inside of here. We'll go see if we can get inside and check out this kitchen common area if it's unlocked. Here is the kitchen area. You guys, so you can come use this. They have a full oven. Like you could literally host a cooking show in here <laughs> or a podcast. That's awesome. This is nice. The full kitchen is crazy. Like, you could literally host production in here. I don't think many, many people use it. But the oven, I could literally come bake stuff here. 
yeah. I think I'm sold. I think I'm sold on this place. This is really cool. Well, I just got word there's also a steam room in here, so that's cool. <laughs> and you have, all right, just a bigger bathroom. I don't know what's on this side, if we can access this side of the room, no. <laughs> but a steam room in here as well. Cool. Okay, so this is the gym. Okay, so they have a washer um, and dryer built in as well. So that's really cool. Water machine, but that's cool because most apartments don't have dryers. So that's a real, that's a big sale. And then let's look at the gym. Okay, semi quick gym. Can get a decent workout here. Plyometrics and whatnot. The water machine for convenience. Yeah, I love this place. Still would need a real gym membership, but I'm in love. Okay. Guys, we're back on the first floor to check out the rest this building has to offer. So this is the mail room, which that itself is pretty cool. Okay. Juristic office right here. You can get all your packages kept safely. More restrooms available on the first floor. So now we're on the 18th floor. We have one more room to check out. This is actually the bigger room. I made a mistake earlier and said the second room was the biggest, bigger one, but that was actually the same size on the same floor. So now we're checking out a 35 uh, square meter room. And this one is 18K, so a little bit higher, but I think this one might be 20,000 actually, I'm not sure. How much does this room? How much, how much does this room cost? How much? Oh, 18, okay, so this one is 18. Bigger room, let's put 35 square meters. Okay, so a lot more counter space. Have a desk right here. And then give you guys the view of the TV, cabin area, couch. Wow, well, <clears throat> I thought I was gonna stick with the 15. I might have to up my budget. Balcony. There's the pool right below us. Huh. A bigger room might sell me though, guys. Microwave washers on the inside in this room. Full mirror, a lot of cabinet space, I love that. Full size fridge. Nice sink, I love the back lighting, the stove and counter space. And then we have a little bit of a hallway before we get to the bedroom. Here's the bedroom, which sits on this platform. Once again, built-in storage space, big windows, high ceilings, and plug right beside the bed along with the light for the room. This should be the light, if I'm correct. Oh no, that's a phone button. I don't know what that does. Typically, they put the light switch beside the bed, so it makes it so you don't pick it up. And you can put a TV, mount it right there. And let's check out the bathroom. Here's the bathroom for this room. Shower, which could use a little elbow grease in the windows and the glass, but that's okay. And then behind this door, we have our closet space with a full-size mirror. I love that they've built this mirror in here, so that is a great feature. And then a decent-sized closet, to be honest. Not bad. Open that up, and then you have your little device, which you still have to be tall to reach. And then this comes down, you can hang your shirts up. That's cool. Still not for short people though. So luckily I have a little bit of height. Hmm, 18K for this room. And you get about seven square meters more of space. I'm not sure what this does. Oh. What does this button do on the wall right here? What does this do? Oh, uh, window. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So it like opens up that window and closes it? Like. Okay, 
ครับอ๋อโอเคสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดDecent sized couch. I mean, decent. The couch feels good. It's not a big size, but can fit two people here comfortably. Nice coffee table, and then you got all this. Okay, guys. So the last thing to see is some meeting rooms. So a little vending machine here, printer, area to relax, key card access again. Oh, they have standing desks with the treadmill. <laughs> yes, they are. This place is so cool. <laughs> Another common area with a TV, so you can do a presentation if you wanted to. And then a final and third meeting room. And then let's check up the upstairs. All right, guys, and then we have the upstairs meeting area right here. So here's another spot you can come lounge. Let's come back downstairs. Huh? Very much, yes. <laughs> I really love it. Pull. <laughs> so you can go up again, another meeting area like the same one. Then up again. So there's three different spots. That is also really cool. But the standing desk, that is very dope. No touch exit. And we'll pull. And back into the lobby, guys, where more general area to see. With the mailbox, so you can sit here, packages. But cool little common area, even right here. All right, you guys, so I'm back at the hotel and I'm geeked. So you guys just seen the last building and the video, I don't think will do it justice, but the place. So I was so sold. I knew, I knew I was like, yo, I'm living here. BTS accessible, all the amenities you can want, luxury, you know, key, face scan, key card access, everything. I was like, this is the spot I want to live at. And you, especially the co-working spaces that sold me even more. It's like all the different meeting rooms. So if you don't want to be in your room working, you have a bunch of other areas around the building that you guys that you can work at. So I ended up securing the 18K per month room. I was like, it, you know, it's a little bit above, honestly, what I wanted to spend for Bangkok. I'm still keeping both condos. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to live here for a year at least. Why is, might as well be comfortable. So I was like, let me, let me go ahead and just pay the little extra two, three thousand baht a month and have more space, right? So I asked though, I was like, you think they'll take 17K? She was like, I'll ask. The owner said, yes. So I got it for 17K. And I'm just so excited. I mean, you guys seen the place from the rooftop to the pool, to the uh, co-working spaces, to the kitchen. I mean, like guys, if I want to bake something, I can bake something. I'm saying that because not many uh, condos have ovens. So if I want to go, I don't know, bake anything. I might bake some cookies just because I can. I'm excited. So yeah um i'm lit i'm super i'm super stoked about this pay the pay the reservation so it's locked up and yeah that will be my new home so you guys see the upgrade from if you guys see my patia condo which no shade you know what i'm saying i rock with my patia eight thousand baht per month condo and the reason why i did what i did was you know for my first condo i just wanted to secure something cheap i know no matter what like you know 24 dollars a month whatever easy work um and patient while i really found somewhere i wanted to be at because i knew that i didn't want to stay in patia for the whole duration of me being in thailand right um which now my life in thailand is kind of indefinite i'm not gonna lie i love it here but anyway um that was kind of like the starter condo and now that i moved to bangkok i knew once i got to bangkok i would up my budget and live somewhere more desirable and yeah i'm just so excited this place is sick and so i'm excited to do another video once i actually move in i'll give kind of another tour and also just show, you know, after I've kind of decorated a little bit, I ain't gonna do too much, but yeah, it's up guys. It's lit, super excited. 
Thank you guys for watching this video. It's a roller coaster of emotions because I just didn't know if it was going to work out. And seeing this last option, once I seen the line, yeah, yeah, I knew I was like, this is it. <laughs> anyway, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, real quick, I want to offer you something special. If you're willing to exchange me your email, I will provide you my Unlock Patia free guide plus my Thailand travel guide for men, but it's really for anybody. So women, don't feel left out. You can be ebook as well. Plus my digital nomad course, plus my how to write your way to 1K ebook, plus a list of over 30 ways to generate income remotely. You're gonna get all that for the free ski if, if you just provide me your email address. So click the link below this video if you want access to all those free bonuses. Don't delay, cause soon I could start charging for it. So don't sleep, get it now.